What's up, you two? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Keith. I'm Zach. I'm Mary Jane Uzumaki. And I'm Curtis. You know the vibes. I've seen the thumbnail. I've seen the picture. I know why y'all here. This is a Patreon request from JRH. Um, this is uh, from this nine. Uh, from this nine, I'm sorry. DM, MV. Uh, we can jump right into it. I'm kind of excited to hear more from them. Let's right. see what we got. Two feet in. Two feet in. Let's go. a clockwork orange effect. I was really going to wait until we were going to say, I hear Ariana Grande. Yo, this is over. We're like, well, From we gotta, the look. We got to run that back part. We got to run that part back, yo. That was crazy. I'm sorry. Her, their look is like Ariana Grande. Grande. That heck says Ariana Grande. Oh, the uh, the Russian the fur. The Russian fur. Yeah. You know? yeah. It was kind of making her stand out, too. She was it looking was. fine with it. It was. Um, that's a good joke. Yeah, I'm assuming keep trying to play so he can bring in that last part back. Um, <laughs> you look like what's going on? <laughs> Should I talk? Oh no, I was gonna wait. Till, <laughs> I, was, I was gonna wait till the reaction was over. I know, I know you gotta edit this joint. Oh yeah, no. Nah. Well, no, nah, we can bring it back for us. I, I'm, I probably won't bring it back. Mm. You know what I mean on the joint. Right. The redeemers can hear what's going on. They don't need to hear it. <laughs> it's a different song, my guy. It's like, wow. yeah. <laughs> 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 
for the show. The head is fire, bro. Bro. I hate when people say bro. She's going off the whole time. Somebody back there got vocals. You're seeing how we don't know much about the group. Somebody hashtag Redeemers. Let us know uh, who did the vocal run at the end. Because they this they second join. Because it's the same voice that just that did the vocal run on the first video. They're, um, th- I know we've listened to like a lot of groups. And we've gave people like vocal talent cred. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've heard... Maybe outside, of, I think that was Mama Moo when we did the Killing Voice, mm-hmm. um, like that raw type of singing. Singing, like anytime you compare someone like the Mariah Carey or Ariana Grande kind of voice, you, you those are like, like those. That's like the disrespect. No, that's a compliment. Yeah, like they they kill it when they need to kill it. Mm-hmm. I think that's one of the best compliments you probably you can really, give somebody. I think Mariah Carey is the greatest yeah. uh, vocalist of all time. So, I, but we also talked about that as well, especially when we were doing the Everglow uh, reactions, how there's some times where Mia would kind of get into a run, and then she would kind of, like, pull up. Yeah. And then I don't know if that's a uh, studio thing or a record label thing where they just kind of don't want you to go off or, you know what I mean? But clearly they're not a part of that uh, <laughs> record label because uh, they're over here going off. Besides how besides um, how good the vocals sound, the girls, I feel like, stood out. Like, they all look unique in their own different way. <laughs> um, I can remember each face, you know what I'm saying? None of them look, look alike. Um, and they got their own style, which I really did appreciate. Um, this song is a bop. I like it. Um, visuals is crazy. Um, this was this our second song we ever heard of them, too, as well? Oh, okay, so... We on the same page. Yeah, we on the same page. Finally, please tell us some more songs from them. Her. I had a feeling you don't like her. I like when they got her hair off. Yeah, the color hair is probably always get me. Always, every group. God group. God groups do it too, though. It makes you. It make you stand out a little bit more. My favorite was the girl walking with the the black bun. Now I see. Now I see why Jimmy. Now I get it. Her. Oh well. Yeah. Well, with him, the talent is there too. <laughs> Cotton candy here. <laughs> Cotton candy here. Um, Her. Yeah. I think that she was a. Yeah. She, 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 she was serving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got caught in the gaze. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you know right. oh, I wasn't sure if your point was. Uh, I thought you were trying to find something. Oh yeah, I found her. It was the one with the roses. I thought you was like, yeah, the one with the, and then you like stop. Oh, and I, yeah. I thought you were like continuing. Your point. Oh my fault. You was I was saying the one with the bun, but uh, two of them had buns. So. She looked into her eyes and got caught like a viper. <laughs> yeah, because even the shorty with the ponytail that was leading the dance with the John looked nice. Oh man, nah, she's that's that's pressure right there. Yeah. That was what the video opened with, right? Yeah. And then uh, the joint that had the hat on, like you said, at the end, kind of, she was serving that look. Mm-hmm. That's a clean joint. I want to go to Aspen now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aspen. So, I mean, the Poconos. <laughs> well, who that? Even that look. That that I liked her, too. Yeah, that's yeah. a good concept. Damn, they... We got so I agree with Cheyenne. It's a lot of them. They really kind of stand out. Like each of them got their own thing going on. That's, if you got to like, oh, nice. I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. Then it's a great group. It's a <laughs> veritable <laughs> cornucopia of beautiful women. Yeah. I feel Kurt. No, I thought this was this was a really well done video as well. But um, they snapped on this. Um, I think the the vocals in it were really clean, especially those runs towards the end, as we had pointed out. They they definitely got some talented vocalists for sure in that group. Um, I like the concept of the video too. I thought it was. I thought it was like like you might argue that it's per- perhaps on the safer side of K-pop or anything mm-hmm. like that. Just you know, um, you know the proverbial checklist that we always talk about. But um, 
nah, it, it was it was really solid, and I love how um, I gotta give kudos to the whoever was editing this too mm-hmm. as well because I think um, the first maybe 10, 15 seconds you kind of already know sort of what you're getting into, and that's just a testament to you know storytelling in general. But um, you know, you have her wake up, look at you know the diary or whatever. It's all you know floral kind of patterns, like it's like bright and like happy or whatever, but it still seems like it's memories. And you get the quick, flashy edits of uh, you know what had happened in the past, presumably. Um, and then you and it's it's shot in standard at that point too. And then when you get to like a little bit of the, that dinner sequence where they're all there's those match cuts and those quick edits of um, everyone whispering in each other's ear, like the gossip, you know, trickling down the line or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then that's when we get into the first hook and the video and the the screen opens to wide and everything, like the whole world opens up at that point. So I thought that was really well done as well. Um, Another thing I was going to say in particular about the video, too, is the, the stoplight kind of sequence. I thought it was really cool how they used the colors during certain lines. Like, um, there was one point towards uh, the hook when it's all the lights were lit up as far as, like, the stop, the go, and the, the slow down, which I mm-hmm. thought was telling as far as the love concept that they're going with, like, just kind of being stuck in that whirlwind of emotions or whatever. Um, the childlike, innocent set pieces as far as, you know, the playground sequences. So it feels kind of in that high school age, like, um, as far as the... <clears throat> the commercial reach of it, everything like that. Anytime you play on that loss of innocence sort of thing, um, you know, the the shattered kind of roses on the ground right afterwards. So it felt like they were like hearkening back to like that child love or that first love. Um, no, overall, I thought this was really solid though. Um, definitely want to hear more from the group and I'm, I think they definitely got some really talented vocalists. I definitely want to hear more. This is definitely Jesus Christ. This is definitely uh, <laughs> like the girlfriend uh, like concept that we all, that they always talk about and stuff like that. Maybe that's why they given such kind of like Bay energy. Mm-hmm. Is because I feel like you know some a lot of concepts that we like are more of like the the girl groups that are kind of either real. Don't give a fuck, right? Yeah, versus like I, I, I am what I am. I'm not gonna play this role. With yeah, because I think I think they call it like the the whole crush thing. Right. This, they seem very like girl crush wholesome. concepts, wholesome like, like girlfriend, ideal, perfect, except for wives. Type. Yeah. Um. And we really don't get into that, so it's kind of good to see this. Or I could be wrong as shit, and it's just these two songs, and then they're a whole different group. But if that's crazy, if that's Next the week, they're gonna be beating up police officers, <laughs> <laughs> throwing up gang signs. Right. Like, comment, subscribe. Hashtag oh. Redeemers. Let us know what other tracks we should react to from the young ladies. Uh, <laughs> let us know what choreo Jones. I, I want to see a dance practice now too, a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I want to see it. Uh, okay, so we have that show.